Hello everyone! Welcome to today's video. I'm Vivi. I'm Nauta from the Pizza System and if you're new to our channel, we're dedicated to help debunk the stigma around dissociative identity disorder or multiple personality disorder. Through sharing our experiences, we want to help understand what it's like to live with that condition and how it affects us in our daily life. We also want others who suffer from this disorder feel less alone and feel understood because you are not alone and you are valid. And today's video is about hearing voices in terms of DID. I will tell you what we mean, where these voices come from, what it feels like and our experiences with it, when these voices are less or more prominent, what our diagnosis means in terms with hearing these voices, how they affect us, and lastly, what helps us if these voices get too loud sometimes. And I hope you enjoy this video and can learn something. Systems who have dissociative identity disorder are most likely to also hear voices. These voices are a result of having other alters. These alters are alternate personality states which split from one another in childhood due to trauma. If you hear other alters talking, they may be talking to one another, they may be talking to themselves or to you. They may want to voice their opinion if they talk to you, they want to tell you something important or want to help you with instructions and what to do, but also they may be near the front and even though they don't directly talk to you, you may hear what they're talking about. In terms of hearing alters think, this is due to amnesic walls who separate these alters getting a little thinner or becoming like a strainer and through all those little holes some things get through and others don't. These thoughts then may get mixed up with your own. Bleeding through of all the altars is always quite hard to handle but that is not what this video is about. In our case we can't control if we hear these voices or not. This is because Having dissociative identity disorder is not a part-time job. Having alters is not a part-time job. Every alter is existing and every alter is there 24-7. And so these voices can be there 24-7. But we've made the experiences that these voices can be less or more prominent, which can be due to alters being more distant or near to the front or from yourself and thicker or thinner music walls between these alters. Also, the time of the day and what's going on can influence the amount of voices you hear or how strong you can hear them. So when we try to go to sleep or when we try to sleep at night, there is no other stimulation to our senses, so you are most likely to listen or hear these other voices because you don't really concentrate on anything else. Your eyes are closed, there is no... You, so you don't really see something, you don't do something with your body, so of course this attracts your concentration. In terms of what you're doing, so if you're for example in a stressful situation, it may cause alters to go crazy because they're scared or they're angry or if you're with friends, it may be a trigger to other alters because they want to front and you get words thrown at you to say this or that or it may also cause a lot of switching. Also, if 
someone may ask for your opinion or you're doing something and another alter who is near the front thinks you're doing something wrong or just wanting to tell you what you have to do or what has happened or just wants to tell you anything you may hear that if you ask us how it feels well for us it's normal I or the other alters we've never experienced anything else as long as we or I can remember there was always a lot going on in our head we don't know it differently and I or we can't remember a time where it was quiet it's also very very exhausting because having so many people talking to you can make you question yourself you may not be able to know what you feel what to do what to think and it's just so much going on we would describe it as being in a meeting with a lot of people and these people are talking and pulling at you from everywhere they throw words at you they may throw words at one another and from all sides and you are the altar who needs to comprehend and to deal with all of it which is very very hard for Isa for example it was very very scary to hear other altars talking and I will tell you why she does not want to talk about it herself but she wrote it down so after our mental health got worse and many many doctor appointments she or also other alters in our system learned that it's not normal to hear voices we got scared of that we just thought oh my god what's going on we're scared and we did not want to talk about it because doctors and every one of them was talking about hearing voices in a very very bad way how we understood that it was not normal it was because doctors always asked us about thoughts spinning round and round but in our case we would describe it more as a chaos not as a spinning wheel of thoughts it's a chaos there were a lot of different voices a lot of different opinions and random things it weren't just bad things it was just so much going on it was not about just being afraid it was about what someone wants to eat, about what someone wants to hear, what to do or just singing a random song and it was different. Before we got our diagnosis and as we got older these voices got louder and more prominent, more different and the impact it had on us was bigger. Our DID and the things it influences got worse for example the amnesia and as I said before we learned that hearing voices had a bad connotation and so we tried to lie about it hide it and even though it may seem as it was intentional it is also unintentional because of our gatekeeper, the old AM, he has split recently and his role is protecting us as a system and he takes it very seriously so he does not want others to know what's going on and this is very very normal for a system that they try to hide what's going on and try to not make others see that something is wrong to hide what was going on in the past to hide what 
may still be going on at home or with in a toxic relationship or whatever. After we got our diagnosis, it was a huge relief, even though it took time to understand it and let it sing and settle down. It was a huge relief to learn that the voices we hear are not bad, they are, we are not going crazy. These voices are coming from other altars and these voices are not bad. Even though it's st still scary for Isa, she learns to understand and deal with it and that's very very important and I'm very very proud of her. The impact it has on us, as said, it's never quiet so it's pretty hard to deal with all of the things that are going on. Our concentration is very bad because we can't really focus on stuff what's going on or on conversations when others just scream random things at you. Also we get easily overwhelmed because of for example, if we get asked a question what we like to eat and then 10 people tell you what they want to eat and none of them want to eat what the others want to eat, which is very hard to decide what to do then. We tended to then decide to do nothing at that time because we were very, very confused and scared and everything we would do is wrong, so we just do nothing because we're very, very overwhelmed with everything. And it also caused us to be very, very confused. Something that helps us with hearing voices and dealing with it is working on communication and learning how to settle alters down and make them a little more calmer and help them understand that, for example, choosing something to eat is important and to do also compromising. Another thing that we think is helpful is working on other autists relaxing. For example, if we hear voices when we try to sleep, some autists may be trapped in anxiety or flashbacks or have ideas they really want to get out because they're scared to forget them. We then stand up again and write these down or help them settle down and we try to sleep again and it kind of works now. All in all, these voices you hear in terms of DID won't stop, but the way you deal with it and the way you see them can be changed and it is really, really important for a healthy relationship with yourself and your alters. I hope you enjoyed our video. Leave a like if you liked it, subscribe to our channel and I love you very much. I try to dress as rainbowy as possible and our camera is dying so <laughs> goodbye and see you next time. I love you all and lots of hugs.